Hey everyone, this is Nick with Talent Retriever. I'm here today to talk to you about one of the most important pieces to your overall recruitment success. This is something that's often overlooked. You're not putting in the time and the attention, but it is so important. And that is your first outreach messages that you're sending to candidates. Look, you want it to be attention grabbing. You want it to be able to invoke responses. And in order to do that, it takes skill, it takes creativity, and it takes ability to almost think like a marketer. So I'm gonna share with you three ways that you can immediately improve the effectiveness of your messages and bring in more responses. Number one, paint a picture in the beginning of the message. The first two sentences of a message are so important because they allow this opportunity to set yourself apart, be descriptive, and stir the imagination of the candidate. You know, maybe it's something uh, illustrating a pain point that the candidate might be having in their current job. So for a sales candidate, here's an example. Let's be honest. Have you grown tired of sitting behind the desk, hammering the phone for hours, attempting to sell the same product day in and day out? I'm reaching out to you because I can put an end to that. This type of intro may resonate with them in a different type of way and allow them to simply just want to continue reading. Number two, provide unique detail. Don't just say how great the job is or how it's an amazing opportunity or my favorite hot new opportunity. Instead, provide some real value into what the company is or what the job is. You know, these are the selling points of the company. Discern them and use them. Here's an example. We're on a mission to change the recruiting industry as you know it saving high growth companies around the country time and money, and we need your help to drive this mission. Number three, give them a deadline and drive it home that this is a can't miss opportunity. Far too often these messages are passive in nature and have this, hey, if you're not too busy vibe or not sure if you're looking for a job, but maybe could you, would you want to talk to me, blah, blah, blah. But really, it should be the other way around. We're presenting to them a potential career changing opportunity. So act like it. Here's an example of how I like to close my messages. I'm speaking to a number of candidates this week who, like you, appear to have a potential fit in this role. Let me know some available times you have to speak before this opportunity closes. Yes, it's confident and it's to the point. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, try at least one of these approaches out next week and um, see if you get any different types of results. Like and comment below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Guys, this is the type of stuff we're going to be pushing out every week. Not the same things that are floating around there, the same jargon, stuff that you can actually use. So. Be sure to stay tuned. I will see you guys soon.